Ilamataji, one of the important aspects of yoga is bhakti yoga. What is bhakti? Bhakti actually is one's natural state because our natural state is a state of love, a state of a, where the heart is overflowing with love for God. And now we must understand that God does not mean some being outside of ourselves, but God is with every, in us, every aspect of creation. Every leaf, every rock, every human being is an embodiment of God. So to be in a state of bhakti is to be in a very beautiful, elevated state of love and awareness of that higher reality. However, we're not always there right away. One needs to follow a path to practice, and so we call it bhakti yoga. In bhakti yoga, we're now trying to get our emotions to be lifted up to a higher level. When our emotions can be turned into devotion for God, then we are practicing bhakti yoga. To do this, we start to look at every aspect of our life and see how God can come into it. We look upon the things we do as service for God. We try to love God in all that we do. In the beginning, God is something external. It could be Rama, Krishna, Jesus. But then we start to, if this practice is done well, we start to see, little by little, God coming into all this creation. The idea of loving God is not to stay with that form of God, but to see that form in all of creation. Bhakti brings about the highest bliss because that which we all crave in some way or another is love. We go into different relationships. We go into wanting to have children, wanting to have a home, all because we're looking for this love. If we were to look for this love in God and then transfer that love from God into the things, then all would be beautiful. That would be Bhakti Yoga, bringing this union of ourselves and God in this state of love. All yogas end in this bhakti. If we find that bhakti is not coming in our practice, something is wrong. We need to look and see why. Bhakti is a softening of the soul, a softening of the self. And through bhakti, all yogas blossom and flourish.